Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for mid-August. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Also, please know that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space energy. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. Also, if you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I'm always most humbled, most honored, and I'm very grateful if you decide to do that. Let's see what's going on with my intense, loving, kind, sweet Scorpios. Show me what's going on with my intense, loving, kind, sweet Scorpio spirit guys. Spirit guys, show me what's going on. Let's see what's going on with the Scorps for mid-August. Let's see. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, Knight of Cups, and the Empress. Wow. Scorps, Scorps. I believe with the Eight of Swords coming out, you're attached to something. You were attached to something and you could not let loose. But guess what? You told them goodbye. You were attached to something. Maybe they had good loving. Maybe they had whatever. Maybe they had the money. Maybe whatever. But somehow you could have walked away. But you didn't want to walk away. But you have found someone. You have found someone because you want to love them. That hair of fire fence is in the middle of your read. You have found someone that you want to love and you want to marry. But you were attached to something. And I almost think that you were attached to someone. They knew you were attached to them. You were messing around with somebody else. Don't get upset with me, Scorpios. You know how you are. Don't get upset with me. Don't give me a thumbs down. But I believe you were messing around with someone else. And you know what? I think you fell in love. Because you were attached to something. A relationship. You had been with that relationship for quite some time. That ate a source means you have been there. You were attached and you could have let go, but you didn't let go. But however, you have found someone that is that you want to marry. You found someone that you want to marry. This other relationship was a long-term relationship, I do believe. But with the Ten of Swords there, you, you ended this relationship to be with someone that you want to marry. You're hoping... You're really hoping because it's Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is you're showing them. You're giving them your love. You're showing them what you can bring to the table. Your intensity, your love, your kindness, your goodness, your trust. With this Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups means that you're pulling, you're charming to them. You are pulling out everything because you have fallen in love with them. You have fallen in love with someone that caught you by surprise. This is an Empress energy too. That Empress energy is an injury energy of abundance. Not only that, the Empress, she is a, or if it's a woman, it is an energy of, you know, she has a beautiful nails. She's very feminine. She brings everything to the table for you. You, um, that is an energy of, it's hard for you to let go because this is exactly what you want as a wifey. She's good to you. She's a, she brings you abundance. She is very feminine. She knows how to bat her eyelashes. She knows how to do all of that to get you churning and turning. That energy is what you've fallen in love with and you've let the energy go that you've had. I think that they probably are a little upset, but it doesn't matter with you because you are intensely on point. Want this Empress energy. You want that energy and you're not stepping back from it. You want that energy. So let me see. Give me another three to five minutes and let me clarify the cards. The first part of the reading, I just give you basically what the spirit guys want me to tell you. But the second part of the reading is where they give me the story so I can tell you what's really going on. So if this is your storyline, please give me three to five minutes and I will clarify, clarify the, the reading for you. The Eight of Swords. Show me why the Eight of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Show me why the Eight of Swords is here. Show me why the Eight of Swords is here, Spirit Guys. Ah, look at that. I told you you are transforming. Could be a Scorpio person too. That is you showing up in your reading. But I think that this is you, that you are transforming. You are no longer tied to this energy. This energy you have decided to let go of because... You have fallen for someone else. They are upset, but you don't care. You have fallen for someone else. 
Let's see why this Ten of Swords is here. Show me why this Ten of Swords is here for my um, Scorpio spirit, guys. Show me why the Ten of Swords is here for Scorpios. Show me why the Ten of Swords is here for Scorpios. Ah, yeah. You have paused right here. You paused right, right here. And, uh, you know, the hangman means that you have paused. You have stopped. You have paused right here with this Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords brings you um, a ending to something to bring you to something new that you really, really want. You have fallen in love with someone and you're you're not taking any prison. I'm sorry. Whoever this is you were with before, they didn't. Uh, apparently, it's not who you want to be with now. Because this Hierophant is here. And this Hierophant could be a Taurus person. But it's also someone that you love and adore. And you want to be with them. You want to marry them. So let's see why the Hierophant. I think that's what you ultimately want anyway. You know, sometimes we spend time with people that really are not who we really want. It's just because they're there. And I do believe that the person was there. And um, But you have decided to move on. So let's see why the Hierophant is here. Show me, Spirit guys. Why is the Hierophant here? For my Scorpios. Why is the Hierophant here for my Scorpios? Look at that. This is an intense kind of love, honey. This could be a Capricorn person too, but the devil card means that you are head over heels, addicted to their energy. You know, the devil gets a bad, this is a lustful love, addiction love. But the devil card, like I always say, gets a bad rap. But the devil card for me means you are totally 100% in love with someone. And that devil card means that, you know, you're not stopping. You're in love with them. Because even though the devil means addiction, love, um, it means uh, lust. Yes, you lust after this person. You want this person for your forever love. You want this person. But in order for you to love someone, that's why I say the devil gets a bad rep. To be, you are in love with this person. You weren't in love with this person. You, they just were there. So you are in love with this person. That devil card means you're in love with them because you enjoy their energy. You're addicted to their energy when you guys are together. That is what's happening here. So let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Knight of Cups here? For my Taurus. Show me why the Knight of Cups is here for Taurus. Oh, look at that. I told you. Look at this. We are guys talking to you, Scorpio. You want to be married to them. Uh, the Four of Wands is my soulmate card. It's also my card of celebration, engagement. You're hoping that you can get married to them. You have finally found someone. You've been playing over here. But you're for real over here. This Knight of Cups... This is an intense, too, with this Hierophant. This is an intense energy. This is you. This is an intense energy. You want to marry them. The Four of Wands, Knight of Cups means you're showing them everything that you can bring to the table. You're showing them you're charming, you're kind, you can be trustworthy. Whatever you want them to know, I want to be with you. I want to marry you. They want to marry you. They weren't going to mess with you, really, though, I don't think, Scorpio, until you got out of that situation. And good for you that you did get out of that situation. Then you have the Empress. This is an Empress person this is an abundance this could be pregnancy as well but it's also an abundance this, maybe they gave you a baby that you wanted all along that you just didn't under you, you know you couldn't get with the other person um just because maybe they weren't willing to give that to you but this empress bats her eyes she's feminine she knows how to talk to you she knows how to make you just you know bowl over she just knows everything so let's see why this empress is here show me spirit guys why is this empress here Three of Wands. Yeah, this Empress here is because, guess what? Three of Wands, you are you are moving towards the future. You want the, a future with this Empress. You want this person. This person this person is, is your plus one forever. Let's start at the beginning of Eight of Swords. You were attached and tied to something. You wouldn't leave something. But guess what? You decided to leave because you decided to transform, transition. This is a Scorpio. This death card is you, Scorpio. You have decided to move away from something that was you were just there. Then you have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords means you ended it. And you have the Hanged Man of that Ten of Swords, which means you took a pause. And I do believe you took a, ta a pause, a time out. You didn't go from one relationship to the other. Although, I do believe that you were with this other person. But this other person was not going to have you totally until you 
took care of the other situation that, that you were in. That is a good thing from this person. Then you have the hierophant here because they exemplified what you wanted. They were not having it. They were not going to be with you unless you ended it with someone else. Then you have the devil card, which means you are totally in love. Could be a Capricorn person, but you are totally in love with this person. Um, then you have the Knight of Cups. You're trying to trust your relationships, whatever you want. You're letting them know. Then you have that Four of Wands. That Four of Wands means you want to be with them. You want to celebrate. You want engagement. Then you have the Empress, which means, like I said, this is a very loyal person, kind, sweet, feminine person. And you're looking to the future with them, that Three of Wands. So let's see. Oh, the Angel Oracle say, don't stop. Don't stop. Keep it moving. You got this, um, Scorpio. This is for you. This is what I have for your love prediction reading, Scorpio.